Yesterday, Tim the Tatman, Dr. Lupo, and Lyric all announced that they've signed exclusive contracts to remain streaming on Twitch. This is just the latest in a series of exclusivity announcements that have been the biggest news in live streaming over the past few months. As I speak, the bidding war continues, and we've got a lot to cover today. So let's get into it before someone fucking signs with Snapchat or something. Okay, so before we dive into the news, today's episode is in support of Susan G. Komen's Ribbon Race Challenge. So after you finish watching this video, instead of scrolling down to the comments and telling me I look like I'm crying for the 50th time, log on to Fortnite and support a good cause. So the way to do that is scroll down, hit the link in the description below. They'll have a donation page for you to donate right away, and then you'll get the link to this map and you can try to beat the best time. Once you're done the map, send us a clip on social media or link it in the comments below and see if you can beat our best times. And honestly, it's not gonna be that hard. If you're one of the viewers that beat my time, we'll pin your name in the comments below. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where you can watch me embarrass myself trying to run the challenge. Look, I don't need to tell you that supporting cancer research is an important thing, so go help them out. Now let's get back to the news. Okay, so a lot has happened since the last time I sat on this stool and rambled to you about various streamers signing with various platforms for multi-million dollar deals. But let's start with what's brand new from yesterday. At 1 p.m. Eastern time, well, 1.10 if you're Tim the Tatman and you can't figure out how to get your own video to work, Lyric, Tim, and Lupo all announced that they'd signed deals to stay streaming on Twitch. Now the future, what's next? Well, if I have my way, nothing but more of the same aggressively mediocre gameplay, terrible jokes, and helping those in need in the most effective way that I possibly can. The best part is that I'm not gonna make it any harder for you because I've officially re-signed with Twitch. A lot of people have been talking about platform deals and this and that. Where's Tim the Tab Man gonna end up? After a lot of thought and a lot of consideration, I'm happy to announce I'll be staying on twitch.tv slash Tim the Tap Man. Hear that, Kevin? We're not going anywhere. I remember where I was. I was on Twitch. And that's where I'm staying. And given all the news over the last few months, this was a huge announcement and a big deal for Twitch. All three of these creators are signed to a talent agency called Loaded. And as far as I can tell, that's the only reason for the sinking of the announcements. To me, this is major news. Tim and Lupo are not only huge names, but they're definitely the kind of people that Twitch likes to put on display for their brand. The kind of guys that a faceless company like Amazon who owns Twitch love to be associated with. If the, the top tier streamers, the, all, all the way down to the smallest communities, it does not matter who you are. If this has not inspired you, please, at the end of the day, remember this one phrase that will get me out of bed every single day to do, do these streams. It will get me up in the morning on December 21st for the next round of Build Against Cancer. It'll get me out there every single time. Fuck cancer and everything that it does. And to me, that obviously makes them hugely important to hang on to. Combine that with their more than 20,000 combined concurrent viewers, rigorous daily streaming schedules and huge brand deals. Yeah, these guys are pretty big. Now, before we dive a little bit deeper, if you're new to this shit, let me catch you up in the least boring way possible. Ninja signed with Mixer and the floodgates opened. All of a sudden, the idea of an exclusive streaming contract with seven figures on it was a reality. And since then, Nick Merckx signed back with Twitch, Shroud jumped to Mixer as well, and Courage JD, well, he signed with YouTube. I'm not leaving 100 Thieves. I'm joining YouTube! What you doing? I'm making moves. And I've spent like the last eight weeks refreshing my Twitter feed to make sure I don't miss the next haymaker thrown in this fight for all the best broadcasters. But since we last spoke, there's even more to update you on. A new broadcaster has jumped into the ring. Facebook. Over the past few weeks, Facebook has announced the exclusive signings of Smash Star Zero and Card Gamer Extraordinaire Disguised Host. So, I'm moving to Facebook Gaming. Check me out there. Bye. So the announcement is that I'm going to be moving over to Facebook Gaming as my main streaming platform. Now, over the course of this entire saga, each and every move, it comes with its own set of intrigue and interest. But none have surprised me quite as much as this one. Not necessarily the names themselves being signed, because obviously these guys are great streamers, but 
The fact that Facebook is looking to get in the ring and fight with these established broadcast giants. Now, as you guys might know, Facebook actually already tried to get into gaming back in 2018 when they bought the rights to ESL's CSGO events and their Dota 2 events. And that was a huge fucking failure. Facebook has signed two guys in Toast and Zero who come strapped with their very own, very specific communities, which seems to me like exactly the kind of streamers you'd want if you were looking to draw in viewership to an otherwise untested platform. These guys have their very own sort of cult-like followings, and I think that's good for Facebook. Another big signing headline was Ewok, who signed with Mixer in what was maybe my favorite of all of these announcement videos. So that's a total of six people in the last few weeks that have signed on the dotted line to continue this madness. But now that we're done recapping the news, I'd like to hone in on one specific announcement, Lupo's. In honestly quintessential Lupo fashion, he dared to say a lot of things in conjunction with the announcement that a lot of other streamers have shied away from. Over the last year or so, Lupo has really grown into a kind of dad figure for Twitch, literally and figuratively. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> He's where we go to for advice. A sort of voice box for the average streamer. A link between all the things we think about Twitch and how they actually are. He's never shied away from telling it like it is. And that didn't change on Tuesday. He made the statement I've been waiting for since this whole thing started. Financial security for myself and my family. Because in the end, there's nothing wrong with trying to secure the bag. You know, full send into it. Nobody else would say it. Nobody else would 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 comment directly on on what we're doing or 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 that this kind of thing is okay. It's okay to get paid to do your job. You all get paid to do your job, right? And if I got lucky enough, and just like the other guys, you know, more power to them. To Jack, to Tyler, to Shroud, and Goth, and Ewok, and everybody that's jumped platforms. Good. Good. I hope you, you guys all get more money too. I hope everybody gets more money. Finally, someone said it. There's nothing wrong with signing a contract to get paid and, you know, like buy a house or support your family or do all of those things that well-adjusted people do. On the internet, there always seems to be this same narrative around this type of thing. Some voices in the back calling people sellouts for getting paid to work somehow. But I was personally stoked to hear Lupo say this because like he acknowledged on stream, it kind of felt like someone had to. It's just like any other business on the planet. People need to get paid. He also touched on one more specifically interesting point. There are more viewer hours on Twitch than any other platform in the world. Like, it is a, it is a very blatant, very clear sign that more people watch Twitch than anything else, no matter what. And I do mean it when I say that I stayed on Twitch because, because of charity. So it makes the most sense, dude. I'm, I, I don't need to build a damn castle. Y'all are my castle. I've already built that. I'm good. Lupo urged that it was important for him to stay on Twitch because simply it's where the most viewership is. And in his case, admirably, that's a huge deal because of all the charity work he does. He wants as many viewers as possible being able to support those causes. But I actually think it alludes to a larger conversation that's been sort of looming in the background of all of this streamer news. Is it ultimately a bad thing to jump ship for a contract and then lose viewers because of it? According to a stats website called Twitch Tracker, Ninja has been streaming over the last 14 days on Mixer to an average of over 7,000 viewers at a time, while Shroud on Mixer has been streaming to an average of just over 5,000. Now, for the size of the platform, those numbers are obviously huge. But in comparison to the average of 41K Ninja was streaming to in July of 2019 on Twitch, and the 23K that Shroud was streaming to, there's obviously a cost to doing business. And I think that fact services the decisions made by Tim and Lupo and Lyric here. The fact is, Twitch is where the viewers are, and there is a massive risk associated with going to another platform, even if it means signing a contract. Now, by no means am I condemning the decisions made to go elsewhere. Ninja obviously made huge waves, started this whole thing for everyone by deciding to sign with Mixer. But we've done a lot of celebrating of those moves on this show, and I think after Lupo alluded to it in his video, it was time to take a look at the stats. There was a lot going into it, right? But it really ultimately felt right. Uh, to stay on Twitch 
All right, I got one last point that I want to talk about today, and it's something that I've alluded to before. With each passing set of signings, it becomes more and more clear that these companies are looking for PG streamers. The heroes and heroines of live stream fails are nowhere to be found in all of this news, at least not yet. In fact, I think I'd call the roster of people who have been signed over the past few months just about as safe as it gets from Twitch. And it's even come at the cost of popularity. Guys like XQC, Dr. Disrespect, and Tfue, they all have bigger followers than a lot of the people we've been talking about. But there are also the kind of streamers who have been known to get into trouble every now and then. So I'm asking myself, is one of these live streaming platforms gonna come along and present itself as the place for all of the degenerates to go? I guess we'll find out. All right, so that's all we've got for the news today. But like I said off the top, now you guys get to watch me run the Susan G. Komen Ribbon Race Challenge and embarrass myself for charity. Like I said, if you guys want to run the map and see if you can beat my horrific time, make sure to make a donation now in the link below. Now let's get into it. Challenge one, join the fight. I should have played practice games for sure. Boing, boing. Oh, oh, God. Our camera guy is not impressed. The camera crew is taunting me. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, finally finished the balloon part. Oh, we're swimming, we're swimming, we're swimming. Even the director, who's never played a game of Fortnite in his life, is taunting me. Okay, so I'm getting the sword. Oh, oh, oh no, no! I got fried by zombies. Oh! Die, die, die! Oh, it's the finish line, let's go. Finally, 59 minutes and 30... Four seconds later. All right, guys, after what feels like an absolute eternity in, honestly, the hottest room in the score office, I finally finished the Susan G. Komen Ribbon Race Challenge. Next up, I challenge Colin to see if he can beat my score. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.